welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the smells. I'm going to be showing you my perfume collection and pointing out my most favorite perfumes as we go through. This is definitely going to be a fragrance collection for the people because I don't consider myself a perfume connoisseur by any means. Half the fun of this video is going to be listening to me try to describe these fragrances. I feel like this is like embarrassing to say being part of the YouTube beauty community. I never really wore a perfume that often before. I would sort of just forget to spray it on and 99% of the time my signature scent was like my deodorant. Now that I don't have quite as much time to do this full face of glam every single day, shocker, I have a three month old, I do find that perfume and fragrances lift my mood so much and make me feel so good because it takes two seconds. Like, you don't have time to spray on perfume, you got other problems. I probably can't help you there. But even if I had like a three day old dirty t-shirt on, and I'm covered in baby spit up, I still smell good and that makes me feel good. So I've been getting so much more into fragrances lately. This video is brought to you by Scentbird. I will forever be in debt to Scentbird because they introduced me to my most favorite fragrance of the moment. I am obsessed with it. We'll get into that in a minute, but let's get started. Make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. And why don't we jump on in? The first perfume that I pulled from my collection to show you guys is honestly a classic for me. I have loved this for a very long time and I can't see myself ever not loving this perfume. This is Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. Victor and Rolf? Victor and Ralph? No. I also have this one here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this is. I have it in my collection. It says Flower Balm. <clears throat> it was probably some kind of a limited edition release at some point. It kind of smells the same as this one, so. I have that too. So this one online is described as a floral explosion. Normally I don't like super flowery intense like bouquet of flowers smelling perfumes. Here we go with my descriptions. <laughs> Spot on. But there's something about this one to me. It is so warm. It is like a warm hug. It just wraps you in a blanket. I feel like I can wear this all winter long and I physically feel warmer in my body. I feel like when I smell this, I really pick up on the amber and the vanilla notes, and I just feel like it's super sensual, so I will probably love this one forever. Okay guys, so like I mentioned before, my next perfume, which is currently just whew, taking over, taking over my life. I love this one. This is Glossier U, and I did discover this one through Scentbird. So if you're not familiar, Scentbird is a perfume subscription service, and they allow you to try a different designer fragrance each month for just $15. So each month you'll get a 30 day supply that's anywhere from roughly like 120 to 140 sprays. However, I feel like it lasts longer for me because I don't do like a ton of sprays each time. So mine is definitely still growing, going strong and I apply this all the time. But it's much bigger than a little like trial size you would get at a department store or something like that. And they do have a ton of brands to choose from. They're all 100% authentic and they have everything from like the top designers like Tom Ford and Gucci, Prada, to the more indie brands like Glossier or Toka. And like I said, I have just been loving Glossier U. It has that warmth that I love in fragrances, but it's just a nice everyday lighter version. So it's bright and it's clean, but at the same time, still very like warm and cozy and comfortable. It has this like amazing creamy smoothness to it. So it's just a perfect, perfect scent. That's why I feel like it's my new signature scent. And I've also been trying out Jason Wu, which is a little bit different than the scents I would normally go for. It's very romantic and feminine. It has fig and pink pepper, so it's a little bit of like a pepperiness to it. And I'm also trying out Tom Ford Black Orchid, which I feel like, I don't know if it's just because it's Tom Ford, but to me it just smells so luxurious. Like you have that rich, deep scent to it, and then also obviously the orchid comes through. It's very spicy, um, but this is a more pricier perfume, so it's obviously a really good way to try it out. So if you would like to expand your perfume repertoire, make sure you click the link down below. It'll get you 30% off your first month if you use my code, which is Ally30, so you can try it out for the first month for just $10. So I did my research a little bit. I wrote down some information about these. I feel like I'm doing a book report on perfumes right now. Uh, it's taking me back. Take me back. This one is in the warm and spicy family. It is not too much of a departure from Flower Bomb, but I absolutely love this one. This is Dior Poison Girl. The description of this one says it has warm rose, sparkling neroli, and icy orange. And typically, I do not 
like rose scented anything. I would go as so far as say maybe I hate the scent of rose. Ooh. Ooh, that's harsh. L let's walk that back. It's just not my thing, but I feel like this one is fruity enough that it really cuts through those florals and it's just a very nice, it's kind of like a moody, you know, feminine scent. And I really, really do like this one. I would definitely recommend you try this out. If you do like Flower Bomb, I feel like it's just the same genre. This next one is by KKW. Shine her up. <laughs> KKW Kimoji Vibes. And I do think the bottle on this one is really fun. And honestly, I feel like this smells really good. It has a nice like feminine aspect to it. There's definitely a lot going on. It's like a lighter, modern, more playful fragrance, I feel like. It says it has bergamot or bergamot, not exactly sure how to say that. Watery melon, pineapple, apple blossom, peony, cedarwood, amber, and musk. I don't know if it's just me, but that kind of seems like every type of note you could have like thrown into one fragrance, but it's nice. It's a little strong when you first spray it on, but once it kind of settles in, I do really like the way that this smells. Okay guys, so stay with me on this next one here. This is definitely going to be the most pricey of all the products I'm talking about, I think. Um, but I have such a deep, deep love for this fragrance. You can see I have a very tiny size of it. <laughs> for years, I just wore it in a lotion. Like I had um, a sample of this that I had in a lotion and it took me a very long time to work up to actually buying it and I was gonna buy it but then my mom got it for me so it was a gift it was nice but this is the most unique fragrance I feel like this is one of those that you either love it or you hate it and I love it I love it deeply um this is Santal 33 by Le Lavo and the description of this online is actually hilarious like I have to read the description to you guys it says this is a unisex fragrance by the way it is a fragrance that captures a defining image of the spirit of the American West and personal freedom what? The man, firelight in his face, leaning on the worn leather saddle, alone with the desert wind. I never got that from this. This is such a rich, like deeply, deeply layered fragrance. I always picture just like a magical forest that was dark, but happy. There were dancing fairies over here, like glittery mushrooms over there, fern gully pretty much. It just smells so incredibly mysterious. I did not get Westworld from this, but apparently that's what's inspired by it. I can kind of see that now the leatheriness comes through. People are definitely going to say something when you wear this. I get a lot of compliments on this. I feel like it's also the longest lasting fragrance that I have. Ooh, has this been here the whole time? My apologies. All right, we're gonna lighten things up a little bit here with a body mist. This is by Sol de Janeiro. I believe they are the makers of the Bum Bum Creme. This is the Brazilian Crush body fragrance mist and this I got this on a whim and I gotta say I love this mm. it is so summery without being obviously tropical it doesn't smell like coconutty or anything like that don't get me wrong I love coconut but it is supposed to be pistachio and salted caramel however it also doesn't smell too foody like it doesn't smell like a candle from Bath and Body Works but I love that pistachio oh that is so unique to me when do you ever have like a body mist that smells like pistachio and caramel 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 it just smells really really good I honestly lived in this one uh, this past summer but I do have to say that you could wear this all year round like it's not so specifically summertime oriented but it does kind of give you those type of vibes so I really really love this one and the next one is by MAC and this is one of their shade scents that they came out with a couple years ago each scent pairs with a different lipstick and this is creme de nude I did give away all of the other ones because I honestly wasn't a really big fan of all the other scents but I do like this one I don't wear it very often and I honestly don't know why because it does smell very good it is kind of hard to pinpoint Mac says it is a scent capturing the vibrant sexiness of clean radiant glowing skin through a cocoon of velvet musk but I would say it does smell very velvety like it's very smooth type of scent. It does smell good. I'll give it that. I think I'm breaking out from all these perfumes. <laughs> and more recently, I did pick up this beauty. This is by YSL. I love the bottle. It just makes me feel so sophisticated. And this is Mon Paris. This is a great fragrance. It smells so nice. Very bright and sparkling. It's feminine, but it's not like too serious, you know? It has a lot of notes of like a berry and pear. I really pick up on the pear in this one and it smells so good. It has notes of strawberry, raspberry, the bergamot thing, pear, orange flower, jasmine, white peony, patchouli, white musk, cedarwood, and crystal moss. So it still has that sensuality going on for sure, but it is a bit lighter 
than the other like warmer, more sensual fragrances that I do have. And then Clinique did send along these My Happy fragrances not too long ago. There's a lot of different ones. They all come in different colored bottles. Honestly, most of them weren't really my jam, so I did end up giving most of them away. But uh, the two that I kept did smell really good. This one is Peace and Jasmine. It smells good. It kind of smells like tropical flowers or something like that. Then this one I love. This is Cocoa and Cashmere. Again, it doesn't smell too food-like or anything like that. It's not overly sweet. It's just kind of like warm and cozy and uh, I really do like this one a lot. And if I have any like OG subscribers out there, you may remember this perfume. I used to talk about this a lot like years ago. I don't keep a full size of Jimmy Choo around anymore, but I do keep little Jimmy around in a roller ball because I do love this perfume. It's that one that I wear a lot, but it does smell very, very good. It's very like rich and sumptuous and like sexual. Okay guys, so that is it for my perfume collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I did a good job describing the scents. I'm not, like I said, the best at describing them, but I did my best in kind of describing what they smelled like to me. So let me know down below in the comments, what are your favorite fragrances? Like I need to know, I want to keep this train going. Like what is the next thing I should try? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.